How you doing? So I'm southbound on the AT now. The people I showed in that shot at the beginning were camped four miles north of Neil Gap. I camped six miles north of Neil Gap, and this morning I got up and started coming south, so I passed them. I've been to Neil Gap and up and over Blood Mountain, and now I'm at the junction with the Duncan Ridge Trail, which is the Georgia Loop again. So since I was at this point yesterday, I haven't been on the Georgia Loop. Now, AT southbound, I'm back on the Georgia Loop. It's very windy and chilly again. I'm, I have on this uh, microphone here to cut down on some of the wind noise. The plan is just to head south to Amicaloa Falls State Park where my car is. I have to do about 15 miles a day in order to make it there by Saturday. The weather tonight is uh, supposed to be thunderstorms. So I'm gonna hike on until I find a spot sometime before six o'clock. Uh, where I feel comfortable sleeping and setting up the tarp in a way that hopefully I won't get wet. I'm at Lance Creek, an area that's popular with AT campers or was in the past until there was significant weather damage. Trees down all around, all over the place. I'm looking out at it and just huge trees everywhere. But there's been a restoration project going on and some tent sites have been built along the area of the storm damage. And when I got here, I kind of uh, surveyed how the place was laid out. Uh, the, all the tent sites were already filled up. There were another group of people gathered down at kind of a cul-de-sac. So I had to come a little bit further down, uh, up the slope, and then down in the direction of the AT southbound. Here's the general layout of where I'm at my tarp and up there is just a slope now I'm pointing my ca camera up I found a little flat section though over here by this blowdown and I'm, I think I'm gonna be pretty secure if you look underneath I have a lot of ventilation all the way around I don't have to worry about condensation I've tied off in the front to that blowdown so it offers a little bit of protection in the event of falling trees, but probably not too much because the tree would have to fall perpendicular to that one. So tied off in the front, stake that in the back and on the sides, and I've went around and found some big rocks to put on all the stakes. And then on the inside, holding everything up, since I don't have trekking poles, is a stick. And that's a strong stick. I cut the ends off with my little one and a half ounce handsaw. And I think everything's gonna stay there pretty sturdy, no matter how big the storm is. I hope so. I guess I'm gonna find out. Here's the front coming in. I'm the blue dot. So meanwhile, under the tarp, the rain has started. Just a little bit at this point, but the storm will be passed by the time I want to go to sleep. So what I did was I, I picked up the sleeping bag in the bivy sack, which I just got out for the video shot, and my clothes and everything else, and I put them away in my backpack. Just in case something would go wrong, I'll have everything still dry and I can set the tarp back up. So I'm going to purify the water that I have and eat dinner and uh, work on editing videos. The storm's coming. Sounds like there's a jet overhead, which doesn't make me feel too comfortable. A ton of wind. So far, so good. Well, it wasn't the storm of the century, but it would have made me very wet if this tarp would have failed on me, and it didn't. All packed up, 
that's my dry spot. Heading southbound at the beginning of the Appalachian Trail, it's like I'm walking along a super highway of hikers. It seems like every two or five or ten minutes somebody passes me, a single person or a group. Some of them are uh, obviously struggling under very heavy burdens. Others are skipping along. Many of them want to talk. Some are carrying instruments. I'm carrying a big old fat booty guitar right here. And I got me a beautiful little banjo. <laughs> Through hiking all the way to Maine. Who knows if or when we'll make it there, but trying to have fun more than setting goals. Finger picking all the way. <laughs> Drop thumbs, not bombs. I'm nearing the end of the day. I'm headed down to Hawk Mountain Shelter to see what's going on. Well, I got the lowdown on the water sources around here and talked to some people compared with day one when I was a little bit nervous about barging into the shelter at Stover Creek. Um, I'm really quite the old hand at it now. I've talked to so many AT hikers on this trip in the last two days. It's been a whole lot of fun though and I can't wait to get out here for real. Wow, I really hadn't planned to come so far today but I'm getting close to being finished with this hike. I'm gonna to finish tomorrow on Saturday, and I can't stop tonight, I just keep going. And here I am at the junction of the AT with the Benton Mackay Trail. This is where I was on day two, and I took the Benton Mackay Trail, met up with the Duncan Ridge Trail, went over to the AT, and then came south, and here I am. So that means I've completed the Georgia Loop. So the Georgia Loop part of the hike is over. The entire hike's not over until I reach Amakalolo Falls State Park where my car is. That'll be tomorrow. Tonight I'm going to head another mile south and camp at Three Forks. A different kind of setup tonight at Three Forks. It's not supposed to rain, but it is supposed to be very cold. If it weren't for the fact of the temperature, I wouldn't use a tarp at all. In any case, I kind of had to utilize a natural area because the stakes won't hold in this very soft ground. It's all leaves about six inches thick or more so the front of the tarp is tied to a line the line extends from this tree over to that tree here's the inside the back is tied off to this tree root it's tied off to a tree over here and this corner uses a stake. And the whole thing's supported in the center and, pull, and pulled up on the inside by this line, which goes from the middle of the tarp up to that tree. I'm kind of happy with it. I think it should be warm. The wind's coming like this, but I still have plenty of ventilation. There's a gap at all the sides. So it's day seven and I'm standing on top of Springer Mountain again. That's seven days without a shower or change of clothes. I'm ready to go home. Here's a final look at the map. This is the Georgia Loop, the Bent Mackay Trail, Duncan Ridge Trail, and Appalachian Trail. I started down here, did the approach trail, came around this way, and then when I got to this junction, I went north six miles, turned around, came back down south on the AT. Now I'm about here and I'm headed back to Amakloa Falls. I stayed here on the first night, second night, third night, fourth night, fifth night, and sixth night. That's not exactly where I camped. Those are approximations. So that was a little bit more than 100 miles in total. I'm definitely going to start the AT with sandals and without trekking poles. I haven't had trekking poles on this trip. I really like hiking that way. I feel really balanced. Part of that might have to do with my sandals because I can really feel the trail and the rocks and the roots and everything with the bottom of my feet. And that helps me to keep balanced. 
I did a video called No Trekking Poles where I talked a little bit about balance. Somebody made a comment and uh, I pinned that comment. We had a little discussion about some books that I've been reading about balance and about how you can improve your balance. A very interesting kind of cutting edge topic. I haven't fallen at all on this trip. Fingers crossed. Finally, I wanted to do this extended series of videos to kind of figure out how I would edit and upload videos on the trail. I think I'm happy with the way the workflow went. I did all the editing and uploading while doing the hike. It is a little bit hard though to respond to everybody's comments and probably what I'll do when I'm hiking the AT is somehow incorporate some of the responses to comments into the videos themselves, kind of like Early Riser did last year. I think I'll focus a lot on the, the trail itself and the lore of the AT and probably less on backpacking technique. But if you have something that you'd like to see in my AT videos or any suggestions for me, please leave a comment. That would be very helpful. I'm back at the arch where I started. I'll be here again on April the 21st to start my AT through hike. I hope you come along. I'm about to finish the hike and look who I ran into. Another YouTube friend. E is for exploring. Woo! E. Yeah. And he's just setting out on the approach trail to starting his through hike. I was asking if he has any concerns. Right now, my knees, my health, but definitely my knees going down those hills. Gotta make sure my tendons are good. This guy is an athlete though. I know that about him. He's gonna do great and I'm not gonna catch him before trail days in May. I think we're both gonna be there, but there's no way I'll overtake him. <laughs> I'll definitely see you there though. All right, good. 